Right now, we're with dancer choreographer Elizabeth Ann Brown. Thank you for letting us come out here today. Certainly. As dancer choreographer, what do you do for curtains? Well, I am responsible for movement anytime you hear music from the orchestra, and that's quite a bit in this show. What challenges have arisen um, when you're working on curtains? Well, it's actually a very difficult show because most of the dance numbers involve both male and female dancers. Uh, and we have a relatively young cast this year, so we're really having to not only teach them the dances, but also how to dance in some cases. Now, Curtains is special because it's one of the first in Tennessee and in the nation. Why is it special in the dancing aspect? Well, it's very special because there are so many different styles of dance. Um, there's a big ballroom, Fred Astaire, Ginger Rogers type number. There's a hoedown. Uh, there's a ballet. A little bit of everything involved. Now, you have a dance studio. Can you tell me about that? Certainly. The studio that I own is Performing Arts of Germantown, which actually I've been uh, in business since I was a senior in high school. Uh, we teach tap, ballet, jazz, and voice. And um, I have a lot of students, actually, that attend Germantown High School. How did you first get involved with the Poplar Pike Playhouse and working on the musicals here? Um, actually, Frank Bluestein saw some of my work at Theater Memphis. This was years ago. Uh, it was the show with Shenandoah, I believe. And he was impressed with what he saw, so fortunately for me, he gave me a call. What should audiences expect when they come to see Curtains? A great time. Uh, it's, a, it's a very interesting show, um, lots of surprises, lots of great music, wonderful singing, and the dancing is pretty good also. What's, what do you think is the best number as a dancing aspect? Um, oh dear. They're all so different. Um, I really like that away, um, but actually I like all of the, the production numbers. Now you've been with the PPP for 20 plus years. Um, what has been your favorite musical? Probably the one that would stand out the most would be Oklahoma. Um, actually, I had some of my own students that were leads in the show, so that made it very special. Uh, but there was a lot of tapping in Oklahoma, and uh, that's one of my favorite things, is to put together big tap production numbers. Well, thank you for letting us talk to you about the dancing and curtains. You're very welcome. Right now, we're going to watch a clip from one of Miss Elizabeth's favorite PPP musicals. you've enjoyed this exclusive behind the curtain tour at the Poplar Pike Playhouse. Curtains the Musical runs at the Poplar Pike Playhouse at Germantown High School April 30th through May 16th. To order your tickets, call the box office at 901-755-7775 or visit ppp.org. And remember, Crosstalk can be seen each week, 6 p.m. on Mondays, 4 and 9.30 p.m. on Thursdays, and 2.30 p.m. on Sundays. For more information on our programming, please check us out on the web at ghstv.org. I'm Amy Fenton. On behalf of all of us here at Germantown Community Television, thank you for watching Crosstalk, and I hope to see you again next week. And now we're going to leave you with a sneak peek of curtains at the Poplar Pike Playhouse.